We live on Vancouver Island and do most of our creations there. And uh, it was a surprise to hear Toronto <laughs> calling to uh, get us out here to do, uh, do a sculpture. Toronto was calling because of this. Tons of driftwood washed up on the waterfront following destructive flooding this spring. I remember last time I was out here with you walking around and seeing all the driftwood on the beach and what a difference it is today. Yep, it's been cleaned up significantly. And we talked about a sculpture that day. We did, yeah, and I think you showed a picture of one um, uh, to my boss, Moran, um, and that was part of the inspiration for this. The severe weather events of the past spring um, caused a lot of disturbance to the public, um, private homeowners as well. So we kind of wanted to derive something positive out of this negative experience. So from that driftwood comes the maple leaf. Uh, main things are connected uh, with screws and bolts, uh, deck screws and lag bolts. And, um, and then it's all interwoven, interconnected with back struts. And then all of these, which are incredibly resilient, bendable wood. I guess. So you like the Toronto driftwood? Not as much as the BC Coast driftwood. <laughs> you won't be moving here anytime soon no. for our driftwood? No, not at all. Alex will also be adding some driftwood bank swallows flying above the maple leaf to reflect the wildlife along the bluffs. We also thought it represented um, the Scarborough Bluffs in form uh, with each of the peaks representing the spires that you find all along the Scarborough Bluffs, particularly here at Bluffers Park. Of course, this is only a small amount of debris that covered the beaches all along the GTA after the flooding. Coming up, we'll take a look at what the beaches are looking like now and what will happen to this sculpture after the long weekend. At Bluffers Beach, Audra Brown, City News.